leftovers who are baby what's up team buck house it's like four in the morning we are getting the split board and everything ready because we are going to split up buffalo mountain today and we're going to send the silver coulard i've always wanted to drop this shoe for me it's a little gnarly but uh backcountry conditions are prime right now and so uh we're gonna head up there and hit it it's gonna be a big day we'll get more once the sun's up and everything but uh let's go load up in the car We just got to the trailhead. Oi! Are you boys ready? Over 3,000 vertical feet ahead of us. I'm so stoked. All right, with any backcountry adventure, it always starts with a debrief, plan. a plan. It starts with a plan. plan, and then at the end, we debrief. But uh, who we're riding with today, we got Damon, we got Cody, and Cody made the plan. Filled out my blue book. So it's going to be uh, pretty mellow today. High 53, low 31. Winds coming out of southwest, 15 to 25. Low avi danger at all elevations. They actually don't even list a avi problem at all right now. Sick. Uh, they have a little note saying watch for wind drifts and wet slides later in the afternoon. So our biggest concern is dropping too late with it being a 50 degrees. So we're trying to get in the couloir and riding down around 11, yeah. 10, 30, 11. My biggest concern is we get up there too early and, we and, to and it's ice. I don't want to ride ice. Yeah. Not, not on this. I mean, honestly, too, once we get up top, chilling, enjoying the view isn't a bad thing either. Yeah. I got layers. I got Go. Going up there. Oh. All right, we made it to the official Buffalo Trailhead. Now our vertical spots start going mega up. So let's take a layer off. Always a great time of the video to mention if you want any of my backcountry gear or my snowboard gear, all of my stuff is linked in the description if you guys want to get into this. All the stuff I use is there. Woo. All right, here we go. All right, Damon, don't mess this shot up. He runs his forehead into it. <laughs> Didn't even have to duck. Andy, where you at, Andy? Come on. All right, so we're running into like these steep sections that are very icy. We were kind of just struggling up them, but we keep slipping out. So now we brought a secret weapon for this because we did anticipate steep and icy. So we're gonna bust out the crampons. This is a crampon. It's in your binding like so. So now my bindings have teeth to bite through the ice. All right. Already feels better. It's gonna take a minute to figure these things out. I'm gonna put you guys away. Ooh. All right, the crampons. Game changer, for sure. Making this way easier, especially now that it's way steeper. This is definitely the most technical skin I've ever done in my life. Most physical. I'm already feeling it. We haven't even got a tree line yet. I have a feeling tree lines. The harder part of this skin. Oh man, look at that view. The view just gets better and better as you get higher and higher and as the sun gets higher. Clouds are doing some really cool stuff too. Snow's getting softer now too as the sun gets higher. All right, it's snack time. We got a big day ahead of us. We need to make sure we're Snacking, drinking, what you don't want to do is exhaust yourself on the way up, have no energy for the way down. Also, I mean, it's not a bad breakfast view. It's okay. It's okay. You know what this view reminds me of? 
Today, sticker shout out. We got Marcus Damien with the white and the extra sticker. Look insane on the helmet. Guys, if you want an evolution sticker, there's so many colors and styles and versions for anybody's style out there. Even if your style's being a split border, I mean a skier. We do have a ski version of all of our merch link down below. It supports the dream. It's how we're able to get equipment to come do cool stuff like this as well as just do this for a living so guys thank you so much for everyone that snagged the merch we also have like the shirts the hoodies t-shirts and all that kind of stuff in snowboarder and in skier so snag one of those i know it's kind of the end of season but this is when your guys support matters the most it really does help out uh you know getting through the summer and things so thank you so much and then if you do snag it tag them on my instagram and i'll give you guys gear and sticker shouts in the vlogs but you want to follow the instagram the tiktok and youtube shorts for the bonus vertical extra content and then the short form like stories and stuff like there's a lot that goes on like Instagram stories that isn't going to be in the vlog because we're just out here capturing moments and stuff. So check those out. And uh, yeah, thanks for the support. We're almost done with this break and then we'll get up there. All right, snack time is over. It is time, time to, climb. to climb all the above tree line now. We've probably got another hour and a half of up. All right, guys, there's the boulder field, which means one, I've been in this boulder field before. We're already halfway up the boulder field. We're coming up the left side of the trees. So we were in tree line for a lot longer. But we are more than halfway through this skin. We're two hours in, so we're making great time. It's one of those things where this is a long process for us. Short and easy for you guys. You guys get to just enjoy the mind. made it to the bowl area and we're doing silver collar today and we thought we were going to be gnarly and then we're seeing all these lines in the bowl of buffalo Someone dude you guys are gnarly who are you who are you people i want to come if only you guys could really see what this looks like this is insane someone came down this someone came down that someone came down the middle and went through here insane Heck yeah, guys, we just walked up a mountain. This isn't even the sickest part. It's not. Pitch time? Yeah. Cody, you're so short. Oh, my feet need a break. Props to Damon, though, for doing that whole thing without crampons. Yeah, dude. That's the most, probably the most impressive thing I've seen you do. We made insane time getting up here. It took four hours to get up here. Definitely gonna throw my jacket on, eat a snack, you know, rest up. Definitely have energy for the ride. <laughs> Snakes. All right, time to transition. Crampons for the win, too. That would have took way longer. We probably would have been way faster if we put them on sooner. Yeah, dude, nectarines for the win. Oh man, I get so excited when it becomes a snowboard. Is that mom? Yeah. Hi, mom. All right, we got a snowboard now. All right, so we moved out of the wind. Chill for a second. We're just waiting for the snow to soften up a little bit more before we send it down the Kular. The other thing that sucks is our Kular isn't in the sun. All right, hard time. Make our way to the Kular. We got some weather blowing in that we don't want to be up here for. It. <laughs> I know we just strapped in, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we got to get to the other side of that. Maybe we strapped in too early. Ah, right, here we go. We're going to the silver QR. Gee, that was choppy. But now it's nice. <laughs> it was like really crappy. Now we're turning good. It's not fast skiing, it's really bumpy. It's got pockets of nice. It's steep. Woo. Oh, the 
definitely some of the most technical riding I've done. Stop for a second, take a break. Technical riding for sure, man. There's little falls flying down with us. shocked how many people have actually ridden this cool it's pretty rad oh by far the most workout i've ever had snowboarding just the constant breaking my legs are on fire i snowboard all the time we have a little bit left but dude the lines like these are not meant to be pretty This snowboarding is trash. It's just about survival. But look at this cool we in, man. Oh, well, these probably getting good lines. These on skis. They thrive in this type of terrain. In the backpack shot. My thighs are burning, man. Just constant breaks. Just trying to see my body is ready for this last bit. We are in the middle of nowhere right now. This is one of my favorite things to do is after you rode something gnarly, like turn around and look what you did. Silver Kular, baby. That's it, we did it. We, we did, did it. it. I'm so jealous of Damon's skis right now. Ripped it, dude. Dude, that's crazy. Last jump, here we go. See, that was just the middle of this adventure. We still gotta get out of here. This is where we're gonna transition. There ain't no more snowboarding left. I need you guys to do me a favor just because that was a ton of work. I need you guys to subscribe to this channel because we do stuff like this. Not only daily, we have the strongest ski and snowboard community on the internet. On top of, top of we're gonna do more of this stuff. We Whew. got more lines to get up here now. Oh, dude. I'm starting to wish we did a different one. <laughs> nah, dude, that was sick. So yeah, in hindsight that we're on, I, I was anticipating conditions to be better, but it's all good. Still did Silver Kular, which is like one of the 50 most iconic descents in North America. And then we, uh, did lose a microphone on the descent, which super mega sucks, but it's part of the game we play, making content and doing it in the wilderness and whatnot. And then I did smack the camera on the ground for a second, which I didn't realize I did that. All right, time to become skiers. All right, we're on skis. We're getting out of here. Did you have fun, Damon? I had a blast, dude. You guys don't even, like video doesn't do justice to what we just did and how long it actually took. It took a minute. We're not done yet. That was a hell of a skin out. And I also have somehow, unless they ate too many snacks or something, I've been vomiting the entire way out. That's why I haven't really filmed anything. We're in the burnt, burnt forest section now, which means we're right by the car. And we're skiing. Because this is all downhill. 6.7 miles, 3.5 thousand vertical feet. We're animals. Good job, boys. And you guys oh, did it without yeah. puking. I, yeah. th I threw up the whole way. That was a little soft of you. Yeah, I know, change. right? I'm a little weak. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that, T-Muck House. That was an adventure. That was our biggest tour we've ever done. Yeah. Probably training. won't be the biggest we ever do. We'll definitely oh. maybe do something more gnarly when we get more gnarly. We're going to do this a few more times. I just got to get the uh, snacks dialed in, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude, nectarines for the win. I didn't realize my microphone was dead when we got back to the bottom, but these dudes killed it. We're animals. I threw up the whole way back to baby tummy. And uh, with that, T-Muck House, thanks for sharing with us. As always, thanks for
watching, keep evolving. We'll see you on another video. See you next time. Just like this. Damn. Damn.